Mario's Supper World. 2011. So, back in 2011, shit was busted more often. Mario didn't eat supper yesterday, so today he wants much more supper than he usually eats. Help him, finding food. But because these hacks were not meant to work in accurate emulators, like BeastNess in, like, that era was hard to run on your regular machine. Um, a lot of these have inaccurate music and are painful to play on uh, modern machines, on modern emulators, on real hardware. And so people go and fix these up, and they get a little badge on SMW Central for doing so. But also, like, I'm not moderating for quality here. Like, if this isn't that fun or has, like, weird palette issues, it doesn't really matter. We just accept that this is a better version of an existing hack. So it's, it's slightly easier in some ways than actually doing a full-on moderating. So I'm not going to check for, like, bro as much broken stuff. Ooh, I like that. That's a little diamond in the rough. It's looking at me. Hmm. I do want that mushroom. This probably is not worth it. What if we confuse the pokey? Hear me out here. It's a cool system. It is! I think it's a good incentive for people to fix things. Cool, they're doing badges. Someone ought to fix the music on Catastrophe. I mean, there's Catastrophe Remastered, or whatever it's called, so it's justifiable. You can just go play that instead. See, now... See, Pokey's confused. Um, but it's a good system just because there's an awful lot of old hacks that deserve... that people still may want to actually play. And having them work on more modern things is good. Because old versions of ZSNES are bad. Old versions of SNES 9X are probably also bad. But... Yeah, key Tastery of anything would probably be a nice one to fix. I think Sakari went and did... Uh, Ever mastered version two, which is also nice. I've been told key tasks for your birth is different. Really? I thought they were much the same. Huh. I'll yeah. I definitely have tried key tasks for you, the OG on the SD Disness, and it is terrible. So I would I would not recommend that. Like the, the gameplay is good, the music is awful. So yeah, you should try uh, it, it I don't think it's that hard. Um But I couldn't tell you exactly what goes into it. Like I, I wouldn't be surprised. It'd be nice if someone who'd already done it has been would be around in chat, but I don't think anyone has. I think Donut might have done it at one point. Uh, I, why am I in? What am I still doing here? So I wanted to check the midway was working. Was there a midway? I don't know. Ah, oh, there were multiple moles there. <laughs> Only way you can think of it is to rebuild the ROM from scratch. I don't think that's how that works. It's not that bad. Um, I think usually they manage to rip out, like, the old ad music code and replace it with better ad music code. But I'm not sure. Okay, midway works. I don't know, I guess I, I'm checking it out of the desire to check it. There are some moderation things that uh, that are hard to break. Please, no slope munchers. Please, no slope munchers. This is a small hack. It's only like six exits, so this shouldn't take that long. And mostly I'm just verifying that the music doesn't cause anybody physical pain, me included. Oh, and that upon beating the final level, the uh, music doesn't just instantaneously stop. That being the other thing listed in the Fix Me. Let me double check that. Yes, those are the two things. <laughs> so that's level got PTSD. Yup! Um, I played... I helped do some testing for... Oh, uh, you know, actually, let's be smart about this. Helped people out and did some testing. Well, I don't know how much I helped. Uh, did some testing for people's OLDC levels, and some people gave me the Kaizo ones. I guess there wasn't a midway. Um, and uh, Zucati's has is sort of a tribute to the slope, 
and the muncher. It, uh, it was a little painful to play. Even cheating, it was a little painful to play. Um, the only time I've had act any actual experience with a slope muncher uh, outside of that was judging uh, the 72-hour QLDC that was a couple of... Was it last year? It might have been last year. Um, and there was a level that at the very end had a slope muncher. And I think someone in chat explained, here's how you slope muncher. Snatching defeat from the Jaws of Victory. In this case, I thought that there was a midway, because I kind of spaced during the level, but there wasn't one, so whatever. It's done now. I intentionally jumped in there. I could have avoided the sauce in the cave. It would have been fine. I wonder if there's a ghost house over there. Hey, Fry's Woods! Is that a... It is not aesthetic. What's this? Is it ad time? I'm way behind over there. Looking at that, I keep thinking... Where did the level go? Um... Let me set lives, because now I'm a little bit confused. Worst comes to worst, this one's on Xandra's site, since I don't have to go through. Lunar magic. It said six exits. This is... less. I get the feeling something's supposed to spawn there. Like, just a little feeling, you know? That maybe, just maybe, there's supposed to be something I can jump on, perhaps? That's, yeah, that's death. Okay. Because if I can't get past this, this... Oh, there he is. I hate you, Flying Hammer Brother, so much. Cheeky midair moment? Oh, God. Yeah, I saw the football from him. I'm like, well, I think, technically speaking, you could try to do some Kaizo trickery. It's theoretically possible. Not bloody likely for me. And do a midair is like one of those, no, I'm, I'm not doing that. If you want to see mid-airs, you should watch TJB's stream, because TJB loves mid-airs. Wonder why it wasn't spawning? I'm not sure either. Um, I was gonna make a joke about TJB loves mid-airs the way Maple, uh, Robert Maplethorpe loves flowers, but I don't think it would land anyway. You know, some... Never mind. Pacifism is not the right way. Want to see mid-airs? <laughs> I didn't mean to summon you, TJB. He did not mean to call you out. <laughs> does Curtis also do mid-airs? I know Curtis does an awful lot of, like, ridiculous things, but I didn't know if he did mid-airs. Need to stop jumping into that. Uh, how's it going, TJB? <laughs> Just simply the thought of mid-airs summoned him. How it goes. Okay, careful, careful, careful. And don't get hit in the face. Okay. No. 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 And no. I'm just taking care of this. I'm not dealing with this now. Where does this whole midair hack series? Really? The hack called literally harder and more midairs. <laughs> Dear Lord. I played uh, Curtis's OL or OLDC Kaizo level on stream because someone requested a, like, just sort of random number and it happened to be his. Nuts. And that was, that was an interesting experience, but 
clearly something I wasn't going to be able to do from the get-go once it, the intro mentioned Volpe. Seeing Volpe's name invoked simply means I'm not going to do this. It involves way too much fancy flying for me. What's up, Fries? How you doing? This is your level. See? Rise Forest. There we go. Got to knock it hit in the face by footballs. Saw Pokey, you came. This is not what you've made. No, I just mean this level. Fries for Fries Woods. An amusing coincidence. Nothing more. Oh, right, because you have your secret SMW persona. I forgot about that. One day, Fry's hack will end up in the remoderation queue. I'll be playing it much to his shame. Or not, you know, maybe someone else will. Okay. That's much easier when you can see where you're gonna land. Whee! Yeah, it makes more sense when there's context. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> One day we'll learn the truth. The horrible, horrible truth. Turns out Fry's is actually Carol. Duality of Fry's. What is real? It's a good question. Speaking of the ads, I ended up playing, so me and Snyder were playing random adventure games, but then I'm like, eh, I, don't, I never played the original Halo. I played Halo 3 and Reach, and that's about it. And he's like, you know, we should do that. So we played uh, through the original Halo. Well, the CE edition, edition that they, made re they released in, like, 2011. Um, but when we were done with Halo, we were like, well, what do we do now? Because we're out of Halo, and... Um, He'll, he's just going to bring Halo 2 next time. He has an OG Xbox, and Halo 2 will just work if you put it into a 360. So we were just derping around with the various games I had on the system. I showed him Puzzle Fighter, which I think is a really cool game, but I'm bad at. And him not understanding the rules meant that I won against him as Dan a couple times, which is just bad for everybody involved. Um, damn it. But uh, ended up playing the Doritos Dash of Destruction advert game. And I noticed they have another advert game on there by Doritos I've never actually played. Um, looks like a very much more, um, like, modern warfare, except Doritos, I guess. Love, love Halo 2. I've heard good things. Like, I've seen some speedruns and stuff, but I've never actually, like, played it. For Pete's sake! Um, I kept making a joke about this, because it, it's true, but it's it's... One of those things you would never know about, but there's, if you buy fireworks in Washington, you need to go to the nearby uh, Indian Reservation. One of them. Um, there's several in Washington, in the near Seattle area. But all of them uh, sell fireworks to people, in case you want to buy fireworks. But, you know, they all basically buy from the same wholesalers in the back lot, which you're not allowed to buy from for various legal reasons. Um, and so, in order to differentiate, they all go and decorate their stands and call them different things. So one of the ones that does an awful lot of advertising is Pink Cadillac. But our personal favorite for at least a couple of years was Halo 2. It, we never saw if there was an original Halo fireworks stand, but Halo 2 was the fireworks stand of choice for a little while. I do not like this gauntlet. Get around to Halo MMC at some point. Wanted to co-op MMC for a long time. Yeah, I was gonna I think I was gonna play the Master Chief Collection, but then I ran into the issue of it didn't work. Um, how, how was the issue? So I actually, to bust out the 360, it was a, it was a long bunch of effort to get the to get it stuff to work. I'm trying to remember what the exact set of circumstances. So I had it in the Xbox One. I put in the Xbox. I was gonna play MMC, but I didn't have enough space. Or it wasn't going to let him play unless he was signed in or something. Like, it ran just a bunch of really irritating things. And like, if it's in 360 mode, I think I tried to play it in 360 mode, but you can't have guests in 360 mode or something, where previously that was not a problem. Yeah, walk. 
Okay, I need to just get onto that one. MMC was so buggy when it came out. I'd believe it. Tried to stream MMC a few hours. At a time, your PC just barely good enough to do that. Don't think you're streaming against your computer. Yeah, the the meta of play on PC and uh, and stream it at the same time is not not for the faint of heart. MMC works great on Linux now. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad that works. Unlike my attempts to use wine today, I'm glad it works. There. Right, so I do need them for this jump. I guess conceivably I could try to time it with the bullet bill to the left. Wait, nope. Well, there's the exit. I uh, also did try to open up the uh, Halo Waypoint piece of software. I don't know if anyone ever used that, but like if you got enough points in various games and got different achievements, you could unlock more different -er online multiplayer armor. Uh, it doesn't work anymore on Xbox 360. All right, I need to focus for like five seconds. Peak level design. DXKV is such a godsend. I don't know if I know about DXKV. I assume it has to do with emulating DirectX stuff. Oh, DX Vulcan. That makes sense. That absolutely makes sense. Okay. Yeah, nuts to that. Can't luck unlock armor on 360 anymore? I don't think so. Um, I don't know. The version, I had to download a whole new version of Halo Waypoint. I even said to Snyder, if this takes 500 megabytes, nuts to that. And then it took, and I look it up, I look at it, and it's like, oh, yeah, this is... There's two exits in that level? Hmm. Um. And it was like 498 megabytes or something, so we still sat through it, even though it was completely and utterly pointless. This is weird. And for... Oh, I need to be forward. What's more with feeling? <laughs> oh, man. Oh god, Bubsy 3D was so much fun. Not the PlayStation one, no, the, the James Terrell one. I actually went and played that on stream... Was it last year? This year? As a celebration of finally having gone and seen the James Terrell that had eluded me. For so many years. Because I went and tried to see it like five or six times, and every time I did, it was closed to the public. Amusingly, last time I was there, it was also closed to the public. <laughs> Could run DVX in conjunction with Molten Kavu for DirectX Vulcan to Metal. That'd be fancy. Unlocking armor with credits in Halo Reach and not microtransactions. Yeah, I liked that better too. I'm a much bigger fan of, of that. Earning your armor is more fun than buying it. Yeah, I also liked how it didn't actually have any like effect in the game. It didn't make your stuff hit harder or anything. I ended up playing Destiny with my little bro for a while back in the day. And having armor you liked. Because aesthetics, you couldn't just go off aesthetics alone was kind of a problem. Hey Ludwig. What the hell do you think that second exit is? There was no part of that first level I played where I'm like, of course there's an obvious second exit here. Please don't jump off screen. Bastard. Problem solved. Not problem solved. I thought I already hit him three times. Because I had... I think he's trolling me.
Okay, I've definitely hit him at least three times now. Look at him sprawling. Come on, how many times? This isn't a very interesting boss to begin with. I mean, to hit him more times does not make it more interesting. You, do you think he has a fixed number of hits, or do you think he'll just keep going until the timer runs out? He reforms. Up to seven now, good to know. I'll catch up on chat in a moment once I'm done with Ludwig. This is getting old. Could you please die now? Does anyone know the address that stores how many hits this guy needs to before he dies? This is a thing you could do in a troll hack, and just make it so you have to fight a Koopa Kid indefinitely. That would be a troll. Like, maybe the key here is I have to wait for a timeout. Do you have fire flowers required? Maybe. There weren't any power-ups on the way in, though. Would be a much nicer fight. I'm gonna keep going until time runs out or he dies, one or the other. There's a few possibilities. One is that, like, this is just wrong and it's messed up somehow. It's also possible this is my fault, which we can check. Ludwig Pur Purgatory, yes. That would be a good name for it, too. Oh, finally! How many hits was that? Twenty hits, incredible boss. <laughs> yep. Oh, what's up, Max? You can't trim. You can trim the cube by rejecting hacks at random. This is true. This is very funny. I'm glad someone enjoyed it. It's a hit, no matter with the fire flower. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. Mario threw Ludwig von Koopa into fire, which made him a steak. Yummy. The adventure is over. Congratulations. Yes, truly an incredible boss. One for the ages. Did someone even mention that? Like, the bosses? Oh, yeah. Oh. Here it is, from, from someone in the review. The hack uses little to no ASM. The only use of ASM I noticed was to give Ludwig more HP. But that wasn't a very good idea. He likely has more than 20 HPs. It just makes the battle much more boring. So there you go. Um, we still have to figure out what the other exit in this is. Steak Castle, that makes sense. Um, I mean, I did I acquire a cape elsewhere? And it didn't spawn this time. There is no obvious second exit. Maybe press down in random places and hope? I get for stopping. Wing platforms have such jank. Oh, it's true. You know what? Maybe I'll be enlightened looking at this. I 
Oh, you know what? That is that is something I missed. Alright, that makes more sense. Because I wanted to avoid this issue, and I forgot to check these. Yeah, wing platforms do have some wonderful jank, don't they? I think my favorite thing about the wing platforms, even though it's not about the platforms themselves, is the Hammer Brothers as they fall into lava. Well, just keep chucking... Just keep chucking uh, their hammers out. They're just like, yeah, I don't care. I got hammers to give. Also, how you doing, Max, in case I forgot to ask earlier? <laughs> you need to stop doing that. Sometimes I wonder how people pick a given fix me. Do they just like look and say, I think this is going to be easy? Or do they have like an attachment to a given level? Or a given hack? Just hard to know. You kill him like normally stops, but when you, you touch the lava, he starts again. Uh, when you touch the lava, he starts again. Interesting. That's even more weird, isn't it? Heat hammer bros. Hammers of Spite? That sounds about right. Square hitboxes. Not circular. Square. Square hitboxes. Not circular. Square. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again with hopefully a small amount of less fail. I hate you amazing flat or square hitboxes. Okay, I need a different topic other than being annoyed at this. So speaking of things that are chained to things, I'm kind of wondering... I need to stop doing that. I gotta jump to the right. Um, so I was playing through the NES dev competition stuff earlier this week. I, I, I wanted to like do either this or that yesterday, um, but I just didn't find I had the energy. and I needed to spend some time working on a work thing. Which I kind of got some answers to. I also... Need to send an email to somebody. I haven't done that yet. But uh, to answer a question around how authentication around the service will work and sort of how the data governance actually is handled. Because I would need to read a giant thing. You ever seen like that image macro? Do you expect me to read all that shit? That's how I'm feeling right now about their documentation. I keep doing the same thing over and over. But at least there's someone I can send an email to and get an actual reasonable quick explanation. I'm hoping. Um... But, the one I left off on was called Little Sisyphus, in which you carry this giant boulder around with you, and you have to do physics-based challenges to climb around places. I kind of wonder how long that would actually end up being, because you need 80 uh, skulls to complete the thing, and I think I had like 12 after a few minutes. So it could be relatively short, but it could also be the case that like the physics-based puzzles are really tricky. As you might imagine, having a giant rock attached to you tends to make things a bit slower. There we go. Yeah, I'm not going to get in the lava. That seems right. No! crap. I got lucky. 100% lucky there. Alright, try this again. Okay. I'm not gonna... 
Yeah, I'm gonna neutral. Neutral was the right way. There we go. Oh, he's happy to have his key. Sideways lava doesn't hurt in vanilla? Huh, I didn't know that. Sugar switch palace. I'm not sure I like this. Oh, this is a puzzle switch palace. Okay. All right, well, this is a constraint puzzle, so I can use this. I need to be big to get through here. Okay, I don't think this is as complicated as it might, it might, it might seem at first shot. Because, like, really, I'm going to wait for that to wear off just in case. I don't have a lot of time here. So grab this. And come in here and bop that. Grab those just in case. Um, I can't do anything with that yet. I'm gonna eat those just in case. Okay, well, I've solved a puzzle. I don't really know why I would need to do a second lap here, though. So I've grabbed this. Maybe I need to take it with me? It looks gray, but it's still, you know, normal colored. Just gonna hit that just in case. Alright, well, that didn't matter. You know, would you be able to tell if I'd yumped? I don't think you would. Okay. So there's two things left to check. There's only one thing left to check. What, is, what does this take me? The end. Alright. Yep, that's it. Cheese the puzzle somehow. Well, the thing is, is that it... Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe they expected me to... Not wait... Oh, I... I no, but I'd have to... I can't not wait out that that P switch because of the way it worked. Yeah, I don't know. I might have cheesed it. I'm fine with that. All right, so this this is done. 